Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome back to my channel. So, in previous videos, you've learned how to use a Ubiquiti router to perform a speed test using iPerf, iPerf3. Now we're going to learn how to do that on PFSense. So let's uh, hop, hop into it. I do want you to notice that this desktop probably looks different than the last video. That is because I changed away from Puppy Linux because it wasn't handling some of the virtualization things very well with the screen, which made it awkward to record. So now I'm using Lubuntu, and things are going um, much better. I, I probably couldn't ask for a better experience with a gig of RAM and an 8 gig drive, and I, I'm very pleased. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Firefox and we are going to log into our PFSense box. We will get to replacing this certificate too. Once again, never use default credentials. You should always change it to something unique. We logged in. We get our obtaining update status. The system is on the latest version. Perfect. So if we go over to diagnostics, we don't see anything about iPerf here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to system. We're going to go to package manager. We're going to go to available packages. And we are going to scroll down to iPerf and it tells us that iPerf is a tool for testing network throughput loss and jitter the single dependency that's listed is iPerf-2.0.5 says iPerf version 2 I'm assuming if I'm wrong somebody will tell me uh, confirmation do we want to install package is now installed so now if we go over to that diagnostic screen now we have iPerf right there. So you can be the server or you can be the client. So we'll walk through this uh, from the client side first. So on our other Linux server internally, I've got iPerf running. So we'll go ahead and we'll put, it's running as a server. So we'll put the IP address of that server in. We'll leave everything else just default for now. You can, you can play with this, get, get different outputs and things like that. We're going to leave it default. We're going to hit run iPerf client. So right now this machine um, is reaching out to the server version of iPerf on that other machine. It transferred 685 megabytes at 574 megabits per second. So we'll go back to client. Now we can set this up to be the server. We're going to leave it as default 5001. Uh, output format bits per second. We can change that to bytes or bits. Uh, interval buffer length, socket buffer size. You can change all these things if you want. We're going to go ahead and leave it. Now if you've got a vanilla Ubuntu Lubuntu, Zubuntu, Edubuntu, whatever Ubuntu flavor. Uh, iPerf is not going to be installed by default, so you'll have to do a sudo apt get install iPerf. Um, here you're going to see that it is already installed. It's all already the newest version. If you're going to do iPerf 3, then you'll have to specify iPerf 3. Uh, we are just going to use iPerf for the moment. And uh, before we get back to that, I, I do have to say that the the web GUI for PFSense is it's fantastic. You know, we, we will get into getting into the command line at some point, but really enjoy, when somebody does a web interface this well, you should really enjoy it. And I really enjoy this web interface. All right, so back to business. We're going to run the server. So we're going to say run iperf server. And so now it's sitting here at the screen. And so we're going to do iperf space hyphen C for client. And then we're going to put in the receiver or the server IP. And we're going to hit enter. It is connected and is now 
running that and you can see that we're going uh, we've got a um, an 85 kilobyte TCP window so we transferred 816 megabytes at 865 megabits per second so that's it for this video that's the speed test how we do that that same kind of speed test so come back again for another ubiquity video and then another pf sense video and then i'm going to roll some micro tick in i'm going to start trying to get multiple you know more than two videos out a week so that we can roll in you know some of this other stuff that we want to talk about so in the meantime if you like the video please give me a thumbs up please subscribe please comment and share and we'll see you in the next video